Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Okay, what are we checking out today? We're checking out Community episodes 12, 13, and 14 all in this one particular video. Now, here's the thing. I just spent the last week with COVID. I'm still just getting over it. That's why my voice is weird. I don't even know how I'm going to be able to make it through this video, but I got to try. I mean, like this could be lingering for another week or two or who knows how long. And I got to get back to work, getting this stuff done. And I need some joy in my life. And what better way to bring joy in community? All right, let's get into it. Let's go. Anything fun over break? I okay. digitized my entire movie collection. Goodbye VHS. Hello, Select Division CED video disc. <laughs> what? Intro to human psyched. Mm. You usually get to diagnose a fellow student with something. Don't you do way too much of that already? She kind of does. Accusational opposition disorder. It appears you've all noticed that my swagger has a new swagger. <laughs> Started started seeing a new shrink. What? Really? Hello? Hello. Oh, yeah, not getting Britta. She put me on this amazing anti-anxiety pill. It's really enhanced my self-confidence. What little self-doubt you have is the only thing keeping your ego pegged True. in. You True. are a textbook narcissist. I didn't kill my wife. Oh. I don't care. What are you doing? Stop that fugitive. <laughs> Abed realized he could hire celebrity impersonators from a service for his own personal use. That's awesome. What? I still don't care. <laughs> Read. Whoa. Okay, Chang. Chang, they're just acting. Who gave him a gun? Got a friend at the zoo. Got a tranquilizer gun? Okay, Chang. All right. I'm liking this. Abed is hiring actors so that he can reenact parts of movies that he likes in his real life. Of course, that's going to be amazing. Jeff is on a new pill that got him all chilled out. Britta still wants to be a psychiatrist, wants to be Jeff's psychiatrist, so that's not going to work. And Chang got a tranquilizer gun. It's going to be a good episode. If you had hit a small student, they okay. could have died. Woo. I wouldn't do that. I have a heavy flashlight for them. Oh, one man army. You won't let me have any guards. We're broke, Ooh. Ben. We have uh, okay. I don't know who told you pouting was an option for you, but... You're pouting. Look, maybe you can bring on some students as security interns. You like won't you. regret this unless I rise oh up against you. God. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Bye. You let it all out. <laughs> Look how official he is. He takes his job so seriously. I love it. Oh my god, he's gonna have interns now? That's all the world needs. It's gonna be hilarious. This apple is your ego. Imagine it expanding to the point of critical mass, making you an uncontrollable monster. I like having no anxiety. I'm in harmony with the world. Yeah, he's Looking good, we here. Thank you, Leonard, for that compliment and for your service to this country. Look at him. He's a better person now. Aviators. Final boarding call, Beefcake Bars. Airways. And take those off. Because they make me look good. That's not relevant. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at his shadow! <laughs> <laughs> he killed the Dean! I can't even laugh because I got so much crap on my lungs. Come on, see the world. I mean, you want to see the world. Oh, but... man, I'd so <laughs> sign up to be working under Chang. That'd be amazing. He's the owner of the Dapple Gang, the celebrity impersonator service I use. You owe me three grand, pal. Cool. Put it on my account. <laughs> what do I look like, a soccer? French Holy student. crap, you'd make an amazing Seacrest. Very kind, thank you. Oh, You're wow. actually more handsome than the guy that's famous for being uh -oh, handsome. Oh, he's getting too many compliments. His ego's gonna implode. Yup, there you go. Just stay humble. You know what? Maybe there's another option here. Oh, Got okay. no bro. Oh, and sitting next to her is Judy Garland or uh, Anne Hathaway, or both versions of Michael Jackson. Oh, what? Woo. If you guys work this gig for me, we'll call it even. Sounds fun. All of them got to work for six hours to save Abed three grand. Guys, I'm sorry, but this is where we have to put our foot down. Playing Ryan Seacrest at a big party may not be a safe situation for me. Dress up and play make-believe to mm -hmm. bail him out. Mm -hmm. Shame on you people. Abed is a magical elf-like man who makes right? us all more magical by being near us. I agree. Fierce. And he's made all of our lives better than reality. Now it becomes a little inconvenient and it's time to get real. There you go. Troy's picking up Earth's best friend. Abed, we would be happy to help you out. It'll be a good time. Hey, thanks for being flexible. This'll be fun. Fun, yeah, sure. Um, if you guys mess this up, I send two Whoa. guys that look a lot like Ving Rhames and Michael Chiklis of breaking your friend's legs. Oh my god, he's like a mobster. Wow, no pressure now. Oh, the group got this, I believe. I believe in the group. The of honor <laughs> is one Howie Schwartz, who, according to the Talmud, just became a man. Ah! Ground rules. Do stay in your assigned quadrants. Do not leave your quadrant. Handsome Seacrest. I need you in this tux. Jeff, do not wear that. I'll step it white, Jeff. <laughs> She's got the whole Michael thing going on. So 
I talked to my shrink and she doubled my dosage. What? Jeff, no. that's insane. You know, I always thought that Britta had a facial structure like MJ with the sharp nose and everything. Oh, here we go. What do you want to be, Burt Reynolds? I'm one of the impersonators. Which one? Do I have to say it? Burt Reynolds? Yeah, I don't believe anybody hired you to impersonate Burt Reynolds. Why not? Oh. Do I have to say it? Oh, oh no, Pierce getting pushed out again. It's coming back. May I help you? I'm Brando. Be under fat. Ah. Oh, go on in. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Yeah, they, they had to embrace the fat Brando. Fake Lorenzo Lamas, let's go. Abed's oh, loving this. All the cosplay with the actors. Why is he out of his quadrant? I'm Lorenzo Lamas. He's reenacting a movie. Lorenzo is an oil tycoon that gets his address book switched with Jamie Lee Curtis's, and they give each other piggyback rides. Okay, okay, good cover, Troy. Good cover. Oh, here comes Ryan Seacrest. Let's see how oh this goes. Oh my God! Oh, wow. You are gorgeous. You look at this. Oh, his head's gonna implode the guy again. Who's famous for being handsome. Here we go. Yup, look at the ego. Hold it together, man. Oh my Skull god. Skullcracker 2000. Top of the line. Skullcracker 2 wants to hold. No, he's trying to recruit them all. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh, wow. Britta, you're right. I can feel my ego taking over. Do something! You have oh, bad posture. Put place. When you do too many push ups, it looks like you have boobs. Oh. You wow. have an unusually high butt crack. Woo. Thank you. Get back to your quadrant. You to tear him back down. Keep him in line. Oh, come up to me, you'd win every single oh award. Oh my god. There's awards? My god, you need full time damage control for Jeff to keep him in line here. Look at him. The winner for best math student is Howie Schwartz. Oh wow, who would have known? Oh, because it's his day, everything goes to him. And look at him. Oh, wow, Jeff's not shows. having it. If you ask me, I think you're gonna win the award for the most handsome young man. Oh. Nah. Oh. Uh oh, and here's the breaking point. Yep. Oh my god, he's freaking hulking out. Look at him. Woo! Woo! Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, what is happening? What was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Now Jeff is attacking kids. Look at him, he's ripped. Oh, there you go. Spend your time. Great ass. They're reenacting the old Huck show from back in the 80s. I love you, Dad. I knew you'd invite the Hulk. Look at him, it's a win. And your friend's dad is paid. Totally redeemed themselves at the end with the Hulk. Boogie Nights. Okay. You're fat Burt Reynolds, right? Ooh, Burt Reynolds, at I'll least. I'll take it. He'll take the fat part with the Burt Reynolds, I guess. What'd they Freaking do? Happened. Tell me who they look like. Doc, Doc, who's there? It's your femur bone. He needs some money. He's broke. Is that supposed to be Robin Williams? What are you doing? I'm challenging your entire medical establishment, sir. Got you. I don't know what movie this is, but I know a Robin Williams impression when I see it. We're doing Popeye next. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Get him some spinach. Uh oh, I think now Troy see that it went too far. Is that his problem? Get out! What the frick is all this? Who's that supposed to be? Wait, that kind of looked like what's her name from Pretty Woman, was it? My parents, my parents' favorite movie because I remember seeing the cover of it and she had a pink dress on, black skirt. I was gonna go in the dreamatorium and play Inspector Space Time. Oh, have fun. I am mad at you. You said you weren't because you don't like people who tell you what to do and I don't want to be one of those people. Then don't be. Vinny was going to break both of your legs. But I can't do what I want to do? I guess not. Not all the time. Sometimes uh -oh. you're just going to have to trust that I know better about stuff. I don't want to stop being your friend, so I guess I'll let you tell me what to do sometimes. Still best friends? Yeah. Cool. You still going to go to the dreamatorium? Oh. Yeah, but I think I'm going to play by myself right now, if that's OK. Cool. OK. Oh, wow. This is weird now. And the handshake is gone. No, the relationship's falling apart. Now, ah, good old Brett is there to get him. She was looking out for him the whole time. What you're feeling is called shame. It means you're getting better. She's being a pretty good psychiatrist there, right? You know that person that you study for your psych class? Maybe that should be me. Mm -mm. Ooh, no way. Whoa, whoa. You are way out of my league, diagnostically speaking. I'm gonna go with someone <laughs> a little less complicated. Abed. Abed's less complicated than Jeff? It's not the same man you need your co-pilot Troy. Uh-oh. Oh, that's evil. Hi. Where's Troy? Are you real? Are you 
this is really crazy and inaccessible and maybe too dark. What is happening? The dude, the relationship between Abed and Troy. Frank sakes, Abed's going crazy now that he's broken. Oh, look at this. Got promoted. Look at the badges he's got. Bottle caps and everything. Who's ready to Chang the world? Chang! 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 Oh my god, that's his group. He has a group of kids to enforce security on campus. I like it. All right, everybody. Season 3, episode 13. Let's go. This state-of-the-art oh, subway sandwichery in our cafeteria. We're into Stole the realm Shirley's of idea. the legitimate. Oh. Oh, oh, no problem. Oh, wow. The legitimate. Okay, dude. Oh. No. That should be my sandwich shop. Yes, it, it was should. my idea to put one there. Yeah, and we're gonna build a super awesome pillow fort here at the school. This will be a pillow fort. Way okay. more difficult, way better. I just found out how Shirley and I are gonna take down so. I assume you're familiar with the Greendale bylaws? I am not. <laughs> Any business operating for profit on Greendale's campus must be at least 51% owned by a registered Greendale student! That's too bad, oh. Dean. Gang. Meet Greendale's newest student, Subway. Your name is Subway. Oh, no. Yep. Subway. I have contractually waived my birth identity and am now a man and student named Subway. I don't believe this. I'm here to hang out, take weird classes, and party as hardy as my morality clause allows. Eat fresh? Eat fresh. That's my man. Oh, did you know Greendale students are technically in the Army Reserves? What? Oh, my God. So, Dean... Knew all about it. He was prepared. He got somebody to legally change her name to Subway so that he could open up the restaurant. Come on. Just to be the college student at Greendale, you got to be in the Army Reserves. Wow, I don't think everybody signed up for that. Wait, since when do we have lockers? Uh, since what? Registration Day 2009. Are you saying I've had a locker here for two and a half years? Halloween dance, post-Halloween dance, dance contest, contest dance. Oh, come on. Save Garrett. What's wrong with Garrett? Nothing now. We saved him. His love letter? Oh, it's probably one of many. I hate letter. What? Dear Jeff, this may come as a shock to someone who thinks he's God's gift to the world, but you're actually an inconsiderate jerk. Kim, clearly she doesn't know me. Didn't I? I didn't sneeze. There you go. Inconsiderate jerk. Maybe Subway taking human form could be its undoing. Uh, really? Uh, could get close to Subway and find out some dirt on him? Corporate espionage, I like it. I am not a whore, and not that what? I've done the math, but if I were, I'd be the super classy kind that gets flown to Dubai to stay in an underwater hotel. Really? Well, you know what? She's gonna end up doing it, you wait and see. Don't worry, Dean, we have all the proper permits right here. Oh, silly me. This is a coupon for 20% off at Bed Bath & Beyond. Actually. There's plenty more where that came from. Look, I was just Googling record lengths of stuff. Oh, the biggest a pillow or blanket for it. So you boys, you should go for it. We'd have a better chance of setting the record if we made this a blanket for it. We wanted to make a pillow for it. I don't want to sacrifice quality for square footage. Look at him, they're button heads a lot more. Friendship is getting ruined little by little. Oh my God, he's back. Laybourne, you have a beard. The air conditioning guy. And a ponytail. Going through some stuff right now, Troy. Don't worry about it. You and Abed have always reminded me of the inspector and his trusty constable, Reggie. The inspector, of course, is smart, decisive. And Reggie, well, he, Reggie, less of a friendship, more of a self-centered nerd and his Ooh. naive, obedient lapdog. Look at that, setting them up, putting doubts, planting seeds of doubt in their relationship. I don't like it. I wonder what you did to make her so mad. Maybe the two of you made out and then you forgot about her. Oh. That's what you think of me? We're looking for Kim McFadden. This is her locker, right? Are you serious? Kim She's no longer with us. What? She died two weeks ago. Really? Sorry to drop that on you and run, but there's a rally for Garrett. We saved him. Did we? Oh no, what's going on with Garrett? Okay, Kim died two weeks ago. The plot thickens, everybody. Sounds like you might be a vegetarian. You should try Subway's Veggie Delight. You should try reading Orwell's 1984. I have. You're a human puppet with big sandwiches hand up your ass. Is or this engage in any non-platonic relations, practice religion in public, or eat any non-fresh, unhealthy food. Oh. Like Why are you that. getting all that? I wanted to stand next to you for a moment. Oh my god. It was god. worth it. Oh, he's in love with her. Wow. <laughs> oh, Did wow. you see him smiling at you? Wow, it's the perfect guy Top for Brady. Not notch horsemanship, Brita. Sorry, horsewomanship. <laughs> I forgot it was the 90s. Jeez. Uh -oh. Anyway. Anyway. Help us take him down. Yeah, that's me. Nope, she's actually falling for him. What's she gonna do? Gotta choose her friends or somebody she's got love at first sight feelings for, you know? No. She had become a physical necessity. 
I just think it's a striking expression of love's ability to persevere within the cracks and cogs of inhuman systems. If I do this for three more years, I can live a real dream. I want to run a non-profit shelter for handicapped animals. Oh my Dogs God. with wheels Look for hind legs. Deaf hamsters. What I can't. Put the small ones in the middle of the wall won't hold the ceiling. Why do I always have to be your Reggie? Here I want go. to make a blanket for it, and you never even gave it a second thought. I'm not even your sidekick, I'm your underkick. I never said you couldn't do anything. If you want to make a blanket for it, that's fine with me. Just don't make it part of my pillow fort. No, look at it. They're falling apart. I don't like it. I don't like it, everybody. On stacking pillows like a baby. She's someone who died thinking I was a dick. Apologize to her locker. But how can I apologize if I don't know what I did wrong? Didn't she call you inconsiderate? Leonard, what are you doing? What? Abed's fort needs pillows. I was going to lie there. I was going to invest in IBM in 1952. But life is full of disappointments. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Look at her eating some. Uh-oh. Eating fresh, are we? I should probably hang out with him more. You know what I think? I think you're falling for him. Yep, there you go. Pierce sees it. To New York. You never lived anywhere. You're a weapon <laughs> designed for sex. You only think Whoa. you lived in New York because I implanted your memories. I want you to stop. Yeah, we're pulling you out. This right pen out. is a microphone. It's also a mini flask. Ugh. Oh. Oh my God. And for God's sake, slap some life on those dead lips. Gears is so harsh. Well, Troy, I just got off the phone with Guinness, and they are sending a representative to have a look-see at your blanket fort. We are still more than 2,000 square feet shy of the record. Abed's pillow fort is the only thing standing in our way. You can't connect the blanket fort to the pillow fort and still call it a pillow fort. Abed Even will destroy his pillow fort, and Troy will expand his blanket fort into the space. Is that what you want, Troy? Uh-oh. For me to destroy my pillow fort so you can set your record? It is. Magnitude. No. Oh, Evacuate geez. Fort Abed and prepare for self-destruct. Sir? Do it. Pop, pop, Captain. Oh no, pop, pop. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Here we go. Roberta, I was worried you wouldn't come. They wanted me to plant a bug on you. I can't, and I won't. A physical necessity. Oh my <laughs> so god. Britta has found the love of her life now. Oh, it was the lips of the love. Oh, Clever Pierce. Clever. Oh, no. So, in some way, that is your real name. Oh, my God. Stop drinking ink, Pierce. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going back to the Kim thing. Okay. Kim, it's me, Jeff. God knows what crime you committed to deserve me disregarding you entirely. I'm a self centered, shallow jackass. Because I'm going to try and change. Really? I'm Kim. What? You said Kim was dead. Because you never remember who I am. That's when I wrote that note. And then today, it's like you still don't remember me and, and you still assume from my name that I am a Ooh. girl. Okay. What the hell is this crap? <laughs> Do I apologize to this guy? You told me to apologize. But I was teaching you a lesson about all the girls you dominate and then ignore. Hypersensitive stalker with a girl's name. Hey! Whoa! You're really Whoa. mean. Put it in a letter, Jane Austen. Whoa! Whoa. Attitude from Annie. More than a dream. Oh. It's wow. here. What if it fell to the Reggies of the world to keep up with the inspectors? Oh, now, okay. Please turn your head while I crawl away. I'm going through some stuff right now. You had sex with Subway, and I recorded it. Whoa. Uh, uh -huh. You know what? I'm going to let this one slide. What? what? I know we have very strict rules against romantic entanglements. We can't them. stop them from having hearts. These two are clearly in love healthy way then okay hold on that odd unhealthy real quick that okay that's, yeah, that's what weird. what what's so unhealthy no, no, I, I'm, a, I'm a father now <laughs> <laughs> so, the bread is stale no oh, oh my God. no, no. Subway, I love no. You. like that he's gone disappeared someone gonna hand me my jacket oh geez. <laughs> he can't stand up if somebody could just hand it to me that would be great I guess I'm confused. Why don't you just grab it on your way out the door? You know what? Now I'm not leaving. <laughs> he can't stand up. It was certainly unfair of me to take them out on Kim. Hmm. Who's Kim? Oh, he forgot already. Again? Subway! Britta, you silly. It is me. Subway. The one exception being the deviant sex act you initiated without my consent. What? Eat fresh. 
What the frig happened there? Oh, oh there is a situation developing in the study room. Situation. I would elaborate, but I am out of breath. Because okay. Oh, we got a oh a turf war on the go. Well, I'm Dean, so I'm making the call. The pillow fort comes down. Are you safe now? <laughs> uh oh, no chain reaction. Now all the forts are coming down. Almost sounds like pirates music. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, and they're watching. The madness and chaos. To be continued. <laughs> it's so stupid. Soon Troy and Abed will be torn asunder and an unencumbered Troy will turn to his destiny. My god, he's the nemesis in the background this whole season, just pulling strings. Gotta love it. Alright everybody, we're at season 3, episode 14. This one's called Pills and Blankets, you know what that means. There was a point where all I saw were feathers. And I started swinging. Ooh. Could have been somebody from my side. It was the site of the largest and longest pillow fight in community college history. Who turned a storage room into a sanctuary for soldiers with broken glasses <laughs> and lightly grazed Sweet testicles. Annie. Whose borrowed camera would capture some of the war's blurriest, most poorly framed moments. <laughs> whose words would inspire tens of students to take up pillows and fight. Who would prove to be as skilled at kicking asses oh. as she was at wiping them. There you go. Who would prove to be the dried up heir to a moist towelette empire became commander-in-chief of his own army. He right. would later say of the war, it was awesome Ren turned bitter rival, mm. an uncompromising tactical mastermind feared by yeah. all. Look at the picture, no. Resulting in over 12 transfers. Wow, I love the intro. It's like a documentary here. Like an old war documentary. One thing I've learned at this place is that a phone crew means disaster. If they <laughs> are here to document Greendale's Guinness no. record. Here's the solution I'm pitching. Okay. I'm giving you two imaginary friendship hats that automatically make you friends again. This matter is a little more serious than that. No, it's not. You're children <laughs> acting like grown -ups. Friends so close they once graced the cover of Friends Weekly, a pretend magazine of their own design. Oh, I'd buy it. Early. When an opportunity arises for a world record, it creates a rift. He secedes from New Fluffy Town uh -oh. and begins constructing oh, Blanketsburg on the other side of the campus. Who are you going for, everybody? Comment down below. Let me know who you would go for. I like them both, but I think I got to go for Pillow Town. In a floral print case, collides with a load-bearing broomstick. The way they're doing this is so perfect. It's like those documentaries you watch of like famous events in history and how everything fell apart. And it's all broken down piece by piece. I love it. The legit Republic of Blankensburg says Pillow Town has until midnight tonight to surrender its territory. Pillow Town declines the request. It's not a request, meaning that you give me the whole tomato or else. Ooh. Or else what? <laughs> that Dean has no control of his school anymore. Pierce Hawthorne takes Troy's side, citing that Abed is weirder and more foreign. Shirley. Troy appoints Shirley Bennett as his second in command, okay. at which point Pierce switches to Abed's side. Oh, well, of course. Of course. Oh. This is Real Neil with Pipes of Steel, Real signing Neil? off with the smooth sounds of Daybreak. Oh, wait, did you hear that? Oh my god, what the hell What's is that? Happening? <laughs> Woo! Well, move quickly to defend. There were no rules in that oh first battle. Oh my this is amazing. Someone... The battle lasts six minutes. Woo. No territory changes hands. To prepare for war. And I ask Garrett oh to please God. fix the microphone on my laptop. Each side attempting to kick Look down and replace the other. Oh Britta God. Perry attempts to capture the war's sublime indignities on film. Just because something is in black and white doesn't mean it's good. Pierce Hawthorne suffers broken glasses, erectile dysfunction, <laughs> which, in his words, had never happened ever before that. Well, oh, I'm sure, Pierce. I'm sure. Okay. Whoa. Amanda Johnson, poet by choice, lesbian by birth. Soldiers of Blanketsburg. That we might gain peace. Yeah! Winger's okay. critics suggest he in a Ferris Bullerian attempt to delay schoolwork. Annie Edison provides humanitarian relief for both sides. Heard from one of Troy's soldiers about a speech you gave to troops at the blanket fort. Wish this war could be over. Thank you, Annie. I'm proud of you too, and of us all. Jeff, also, just heard from one of Abed's soldiers that you gave an identical speech to troops at Pillow Town. Ooh. Special icon of a downward yeah. thumb. Okay, you caught me. I prefer war to homework. How do you do that little <laughs> thumb icon? I can't find it on my phone. You can buy special icons and packages at the App Store. Piece of sushi, birthday cake, stop sign, snowman, umbrella. I've been working on something. Look at this. You can build this. <laughs> you just give me the pillows. I hope to God we'll never have to use it. Oh, me too. What is he doing? What mastermind plot does Pierce have now? 
Sentence to Ben oh, Chang, Chang, Greendale's chief of security. Rumored to be literally psychotic. He's pointing a trank gun right in his eyeball. Woo! We're being raided. They were later nicknamed the Chang Glorious Bastards. <laughs> the Chang Glorious like Bastards. Like Inglorious Bastards. One of the injured said they were making necklaces out of mattress tags. This is when things get as ugly as they can get. So it's like taking dog tags except as mattress tags? <laughs> Birthday cake, birthday cake, unicorn, woman shoe. Oh, no. You guys like pillows? How do you like these pillows? The Chang Hobbit sees no choice but to unleash his doomsday device. No, the one Pierce made? Okay, let's see what happens. Die, you little bastards! Woo! Hello, he is all carnage. Sean has transformed himself into an unstoppably plush juggernaut. <laughs> and he's beating the tire out of the kids. Why are you ignoring me? What's the point of talking to you? Your words don't mean anything. They're just things you say to get what you want. Stuff. Then maybe you should just shut up. Whoa, okay. Write stuff down in a journal, Jack? Sort out the truth? If I write stuff down in a Hello Kitty book, will you like me again? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Every yeah, everybody's relationship has fallen apart. Outlining Troy's weaknesses. Troy will hold on until he's broken emotionally. The color red, smooth jazz, music boxes, bell bottoms, boobs, barking dogs, and anyone saying, look over there. He's insecure about his level of intelligence. He knows him pretty well, though. Holy crap. You may have been my best friend, but we both know I was your first friend, is that you're never going to have another friend. Because, all caps, nobody else will ever have my patience with you. Ooh. It's getting real now. During the ceasefire, Jeff summons Troy and Abed to a secret summit meeting. Oh, here we go. If anyone can save him, it's Jeff. It didn't used to be like this. You were Troy and Abed. Things used to be easy. Our friendship is dead. What? Woo. Yeah. That did not go well, Jeff. Come on. That's all you had? The North Cafeteria, named after Admiral William North, is located in the <laughs> western portion of East Hall, Position above eight. the South Wall. It is the most contested and confusing battlefield on Greendale's campus. Yep. Next, Roy redirects most of his infantry to the cafeteria as a hundred Pillow Town troops. This is it, the final showdown. Who's gonna win? Woo! Albed's force looks way bigger. So traumatic. Surely with the barbarian rage. Whoa, watch Chank. Okay, Chank. Okay. He's hitting somebody and him playing dead. Ooh. He's throwing Superman punches to little kids. Do the two leaders meet on the battlefield? Oh, they got him down. Oh, the Dean's getting involved. Okay. Well, that's it. I just heard from the Guinness rep. He's not coming. What a He's colossal waste of two and a half days. Dean's willing to do anything to get his school on the map. Come on guys, let's wrap this up. I don't want to. This is gonna be the last thing we ever do together. You can't stop. You use those magical friendship hats that I got for you. I'm not stupid, Jeffrey. We know you made those sarcastic. And I will roll my eyes at both of you when I put them on your heads, because that's the way I am. That's not the way you have to be. Ooh, okay. This angle might work. Here's your magical friendship hat. <laughs> is this all it's gonna take? You left the magical friendship hats at the Dean's office. I'll go get them. So Jeff went out, and he stayed out long enough to make them believe he had gone back to the office. Here you go. There you go. Gotta do it right. Gotta Lucky do it. No one right. grabbed him, huh? <laughs> oh, she got it. Accidentally, while trying to get a picture of the light hitting a stack of nearby wood. <laughs> Worst photographer ever. For some reason, I actually went all the way back to where they were supposed to be, even though I was the only one watching. Even he's given in to their imagination. I, I would like do anything that. for my friends which finally makes me understand war. Me too, such a great story. I was on the edge of my seat and I was in it. What? You can't get quality programming like that anywhere else but right here on Greendale Campus Television. I was saying that same thing. It's like Craig Pelton, a year in Paris. From labs to riches, <laughs> the Annie's boob story. Or Ooh. that's interchangement. That's interchangement. I'd watch all of those. I'd rather be at home right now, mm -hmm. okay? Taking a warm bath with my wife. Yeah, oh brother, not this one again. <laughs> <laughs> what salesman? We are literally this close to losing our friend. And there goes your funding. All right, everybody, quite a few laughs in those three episodes. They weren't, like, the funniest episodes of the show so far, but I still enjoyed them. They were had more, like, storyline than just constant zingers, right? But either way, I'm okay. I'm here for all of it, and I love it. In the end, Jeff comes through again. Gotta love it. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite parts of these episodes. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button. More coming your way soon. Peace and love, everybody. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.